How's it going everyone? My name is Hayley and welcome back to Set to Hike. I'm excited as I have just received the new Armour Skin Anti-Blister Toe Socks to try out. So they now have a new version with individual toe sockets. And as you may know, I've been a fan of the standard Armour Skin for quite a number of years now. The Armour Skin people developed this version as some of their customers with unusual toe shapes and arrangements have said that they would like extra coverage in pressure areas between the toes. So while I will be taking these beauties out for a trial in the next week or so and will give a formal review, I thought it would be worth doing a separate short video on how to put these unusual toe socks on because the traditional armor skin has a bit of a knack to rolling it on. So I wonder how we will go with all these little sockets. I see there are instructions on the back of the pack, so let's go. Firstly, you want to make sure you have the socks the right side out, and that means the smooth side goes on the outside. The inside is a grippy silicon, and that is so important to helping keep your feet blister free. This is clearly indicated by the seams being on the outside. And remember that there is a left sock and a right sock, and you can easily tell the difference between the two by the big toe socket. Like the standard armor skin, the next step is to turn it almost inside out leaving just enough room at the end for your big toe. So insert your big toe into its sleeve and let your remaining toes sit through the slit. Now you can roll instead of pulling the rest of the armor skin onto your foot. Now starting with the small toe, fit the rest of the sockets over your toes. If any of your sockets are too long for the toes, the excess can be left vacant at the front of the toe. Adjust the heel seams so that they are fitting nicely around the heel. This is important to confirm that you haven't overstretched the sock when rolling it on. And finally, you can smooth out any wrinkles. Put your normal sock on over the top of armor skin. It doesn't have to be a toe sock as well. Hey, they might look a little odd, but they do feel comfortable. It does require a little more extra effort than the normal armor skin, but if you are after that extra coverage, then that effort will be worth it. I'm looking forward to taking these newbies for a decent hike experience, and I will let you know how they perform, but I hope this video has been helpful and thank you for watching.